Hey guys, want to learn how to sketch? Stay tuned and check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. And as you guys can see from the title, today I'll be showing you guys how to sketch. Now, I'm not a professional sketcher. I don't just sketch amazing pieces. I'm going to show you my shortcut on how to sketch. It's very simple, very easy. I know a lot of you guys can sketch a little bit. I can't sketch at all. When I mean at all, I mean like at all. So this video is going to be a shortcut on how to sketch your garments onto templates. Now, I have some fashion templates that I got from Google. And this is what it looks like. Now I printed out different ones. There's a front and back. There's just the front. There's some different poses. There are some other ones with great faces. These are so great for prom, for bridal, just so that your client can visualize herself as one of these templates. I'm gonna take one of these templates and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to sketch on one of these templates because a lot of you guys are unsure. A lot of you guys don't know how to even like draw lace or put the stones on. Like how can you show your client, okay, this is where the stone is gonna be. This is where the lace is gonna be. Like how do you show that on sketch? And that's what this video is all about. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I'm gonna do a front and the back. And I'm gonna show you guys how to design and create and draw a simple dress on a template. Okay, first I wanna show you guys how do you get the templates. So you go to your phone and then you type in free fashion templates. See, just like that, free fashion templates. Then you guys will go press Google and you go to images. And once you go to images, you guys will see this. See, free fashion templates and you'll see the fashion templates. Then you guys will scroll up and you can print out whatever it is you want. Whatever it is you want. Normally, I don't like these because there's words across that. But if you go back, there's templates like this. See the face and see the shape. If you scroll up, there's more. This is pretty cute too. I would use this for like something, but this is pretty cute. If you scroll up, and there's just different ones, depending on what your style of design is, you know, get creative. There's plus size, there's kids, you know. But yeah, they're free. Just save them to your phone, save them to your desktop, print them out, scale it to what size you want, and get creative. Okay guys, normally when I have a consultation, this is what I have in front of me. And I also have two pencils. Normally I have one, this one doesn't have anything in it. This one is just more professional. So I'm gonna show you an easy way of how I sketch. I'm gonna draw a simple sketch of a simple dress, prom dress, bridal gown. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. And I'm gonna show you guys how to mark your templates. Because some of you guys may not mark your templates, but it's best to mark them because you know what you're doing, you know what you're buying, and your client can know what you're doing and what you're buying. And then once you give your client a copy of this, she won't have any issues on knowing what she's gonna get in the future for a pickup or for trying on or whatever it is. So let's go ahead. So here's the back right here, and I'm gonna draw an open back. So say for example, my client wants sleeves, I'm gonna draw a line right there. And then if she wants an open back, I'm going to curve the back just like that and mind you you have to draw like it's an actual garment remember there are seams there are zippers there's gathers there's pleats there's everything so whatever it is that you want you have to place so if this is a sleeve you have to mark where your sleeve ends which is at the wrist right here and there's an open back that goes down right here say for example remind you there's a waist seam you got to put a waist seam there and in the front mind you if there's a zipper make sure you put a line in the back and you can put lines just like that with an arrow letting you know that it's a zipper and you can write zipper on back just like that okay also if it's a long sleeve like in this photo you can write long sleeve right there okay now let's do the front 
This is the front of the dress. Say for example, she wants a round neck. Just like that, I'm gonna write on the side round neck that lets me know and my client know that we both agreed on her having a, high, a low ne uh, round neck now we're gonna insert the long sleeve cut off that wrist on both sides just like that make your sleeve seams just like that on both sides see that there's a seam here and there's a seam here also there is a waist seam so you gotta do your waist seam on the front. Just like that. And if my client wants an applique or some lace, this is what I do. I'm gonna make the shape of where I'm gonna place the lace. So I draw a sweetheart neckline just like this. That lets me know that the lace has to stop or make this shape. And then within the shape, I'm going to draw some stars. And the stars is going to be the shape. The stars to me is the lace. So just start making little stars. And mind you, when you guys are having consultations, a consultation should be 45 minutes to an hour. So it should be broken up. 30 minutes to discuss on fabrics and fit and 30 minutes to sketch. Because she will make you erase and go back and add some things. So I'm going to go ahead and add some stars and this is lace for me. Some of you guys may sketch different but I'm showing you guys how I sketch. So the stars are lace and if you want to add stones just draw little dots. So you draw a dot here, a dot here, just draw dots and the dots are stones because stones are small circles. So you draw that in between the lace, just like that. And again, you make notes. Have an arrow. You can do this. You can do star equals lace. Or you guys can do dots equals stones. Just like that. And it's best for you to do this because your client would know what she's getting and she you don't want your client asking questions what are these stars or what are these stones and it says the stars equals lace and it says the dots equals stones and then this whole top here can be mesh so the mesh can be drawn just like this something simple and you can write nude mesh just like that and let's say your client is very dramatic like how I love my clients and she wants feathers on the wrist you'll go ahead and draw feathers feathers on the wrist and you'll draw feathers up here feathers on the wrist and feathers on the wrist right here you do feathers as well feathers on the wrist. Now the feathers I'm drawing just like in an M in an M motion back and forth. Just like that. Okay? And let's say she wants stones on her sleeve. Go ahead and add some dots on the sleeve. And remind your client this is just a drawing. Sometimes the actual garment comes out 10 times better than the sketch. But this just lets your client know, like, okay, there's stones on the sleeve, there's lace on the bodice, there's a waist seam, and that's what we're doing. And that's what it would look like. And we're going to go ahead to the back. Let's say she wants a mermaid fitted dress. So the seam is always above the knee. You're going to draw a seam right above the knee, and you will write that. Seam above the me just like that and let's say for example she wants a regular mermaid bottom you just take this and you'll extend it down and you'll take that 
and you just have to envision it don't got to be perfect at all back to the front there is above the knee seam which is right there then you guys are gonna bring this down and just make the bottom dramatic as possible but make sure it looks like something okay or if she wants to split in the front then you'll go ahead and insert that split right here in the front make sure you right here split just like that make sure you right here what fabric is this bottom make sure the fabric you can either write you can write neoprene you can write tool make sure the color color of bottom is white make sure you do all of this and let's say for example she wants lace on this part right so go ahead you can put lace going past the waist just like this let's say she wants lace around the knee you'll put lace around the knee area whatever it is that your client wants on the physical dress you guys have to draw because you guys will forget what you will have to do and let's put some stones in between the lace under the waist portion see and let's not forget whatever you do on the front you got to do on the back so see how the, the stones on her sleeve here you got to add stones on the sleeve on the back as well and you can right here put low open back just like that and make sure you do the same on the front and do the same to the back if there's stones and lace on the front you add stones and lace to the back so now i'm drawing the lace and then you add the stones this sketch shouldn't take you that long but i recommend you guys to do it in pencil because if she doesn't want lace on the back and only in the front you can easily erase which is 10 times better so i recommend you guys to use pencil and this is exactly how i sketch this is exactly how i've been doing it for a couple of years now and it helps me out and that's really it and if you want you can easily just color this in i'm not gonna actually let me just color it in you can just see you can draw lines to let you know like what it is if your client is more visual and it's a more flowy fabric like chiffon or georgette or cdc you can just draw the lines a little bit heavier if your clients are more visual you know a little something like that and if you're dramatic like me i like to draw kind of kooky faces so i'll take this and make her a little nice eye like that give her some lip give her some huge knocker earrings you know stuff like that give her an eyebrow give her a lip give her an earring and she's looking at you this way give her a nice eye a nice lip you know stuff like that you have to make your pieces look more realistic see you know exactly what you're getting so you know that she's getting she's getting nude mesh on the front she's getting nude uh, sleeve she's getting stones on her sleeve she's getting lace and she's getting stones on her bodice covering her her breasts up until her waist there is a waist seam and then there's lace going past her waist down to her sides not past her knee and look exactly where the lace stops that will help you and that will help your client and then you know that there's lace and stones around the knee area and that the bottom of this dress is either going to be a mermaid bottom a tool bottom whatever it is that you guys choose together in the back there's stones on the sleeve there's an open little back there's a zipper on the back the back is plain that's what she wants she doesn't want lace past the waist like the front and again there's um lace and stones above the, the seam and make sure you guys take write your notes write your notes because the one thing that i do do is that once this is finished there will be 
a X at the bottom of the sketch and make sure you have, it, have your clients sign off with the date that so and so for her wedding approved of this sketch simple you'll take this and you'll add this to your contract and staple it and give your client a copy or if you don't have a copy machine it's okay have your client take a picture of this so she can have it in her phone yes so we are done with the sketch and this is what the sketch looks like i hope you guys can see all the details that i put into it i hope this wasn't as hard as you guys thought it was i'm not a professional sketcher drawer whatever it is i didn't i took classes in college but i suck at sketching but i hope you guys see that sketching is not as difficult as you guys make it out to be as long as you guys get your um fashion templates like this from google they're free save them and print them out this can be turned into this it's very simple and if you guys are interested in making you guys a, a collection if you guys want to sketch a collection before you guys actually start the collection this is also a great way of how you start a collection. Sketch your ideas, put it on paper. Or if you want, get the color, the color pencils. Put some red in here, put some green in here. Like make it professional. And if this is for you, not for a client, you can easily put, you know, classic royalty, Anita Rivers, today's date, and put it in the book. So that way your ideas would never get lost. You can always have your ideas. You know, it's pretty cool. Like I said, this is going to be a short video, a very easy video on how to sketch. And I hope you guys appreciate this video. It's very short. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you guys have any other suggestions on what videos I should do in the future, leave it below in the comments. I check all of you guys' comments. I really do. Um, if you aren't a part of my sewing group, I do have all of these on my sewing group. So please go ahead and add my sewing group. The link is below in the description box. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys learned something. You know, it's very simple. But I really hope you guys learned something because some people they don't know how to do this. Even this. Some people can't visualize even how to draw a stone or a lace. So I hope you guys learned from this, even though it's very simple. And that's about it. So, hope to see you guys soon on my next video. And I hope you guys learned something. And we will talk later. Bye.